Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bo with Designs by Bo. In this video tutorial, we'll be doing, um, I'm going to show you how to combine text in Inkscape to make it look like part of an outline. Please guys, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'm pretty new to YouTube, so YouTube needs these things to show relevancy. So, guys, if you could show me some support, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get started on the video. The design you're looking at, guys, now is going to be our final project. As you can see, the, it looks like the California word is drawn actually inside into the uh, the outline of the state. So, first step is um, I just went on Google and um, I just Googled the um, image search for an outline of the state of California. I copied the image and then just pasted it in right into Inkscape. And what we need to do is take this JPEG image and turn it into a, an SVG file so that it can be manipulated without loss of quality. So to do that, first thing we'll do is we'll go up to path and then down to trace bitmap. And your bitmap trace bitmap screen pops up. And what we want to do is um, choose colors. And this is a black and white image, so we're going to do two colors. Make sure stack scans is on and remove background so that'll remove whatever background so the white background will be removed and then you can click live preview to see what um, what's what your finished conversion into SVG is going to look like and then you click OK once you click OK it'll go to stop and then it'll switch back to OK. Once it switches back to, to OK, that means that your um, image is rendered and your SVG file is ready and it'll produce that on top of the image that you have. So we're going to click OK. And now we have a more perfect copy of the shape of California. And we just want to click on the old one the JPEG file and then hit delete and on this one we don't want these words we're gonna add our own so this is a SVG file so all of this is really a path so to see the path you can just click the select nodes or edit paths by nodes um, arrow and then I usually just drag over what I don't want and delete so and then just click the regular select arrow. Now we have what we want here. And for this next, we want to get some text. So I want to type in California. And let's see. This is a little bit big, so I'll reduce that. And then I'm going to choose a text similar I'm gonna go with this Aubergine and this text is pretty it's pretty close to the thickness of the state okay guys what I want to do next is I want to enlarge this the word California is I wanted to go all the way to the edge of the state. So to make sure it's pretty lined up, what I'll do is go over to the ruler. And if you go to the ruler and you click and hold and then drag over, you'll drag this guideline over. And it'll give you a marker for where you want to bring your uh, object. So what I'll do is just click this um, left right arrow and click and drag till I get the A pretty close to that so that this fills in this space. 
Um, it, to me, that's more aesthetically pleasing. There's no no other reason for it. You guys didn't have to do that. You can make it the size that you want. So at this point, I don't need this anymore. So you can get rid of this by either hovering over it till the arrow changes to this pointed finger and then hit delete or you can double click it and then this screen will pop up this allows you to change the angle of the um, of the direction of that line this is for al aligning text and objects so if you've made this 90 let's say we make this 135 degree and then you click OK, as you see the angle change. So we'll just when you if you double click it again, you can also delete it from here. But we're done with that, so. And as it stands, this image looks complete, but it's not complete because what we want to do is remove this line here and all the lines all the way over to we get to the edge of California. So I'm gonna just raise this up just a little bit so that it gets this little line here too so to do this this is we're just going to um, duplicate this because once we do this once we if we don't have a duplicate once we sub once we subtract these parts what it'll do is it'll cut out this word California from the uh, state shape and it won't leave us the word anymore. So what we do to fix that is we're going to take this, we're gonna hit Control D and duplicate this. So now we have two, and once you once you move it, you can Control Z to take it back. And then this layer, we're going to just change it a different color so that it doesn't blend in when we do our effects, because if you don't change the color, you won't see the effect that it'll have. So I'll just change it to um, just a red color, just because it bright, it's bright and it stands out. And what we're going to do with this is go up to the top, and then we're going to lower selection to the bottom. So this will put this layer all the way at the bottom under the state. So the red is first, and the state is second, and then the California is third. So what we're going to do is click off of that, and then we're going to click on the black California, and then click on the actual state. And then we're going to hit Control minus, or you look on the paths. It's you just click path and then difference. And what you see is now you have this line, the black line in between the letters, and you no longer see the black California. That's because it's deleted, and the only thing that's left is these pieces and to get these pieces we want to remove these parts and the easiest way to remove these parts after this point because now you have all of these are each individual so instead of having one state as one object you have the state as one object this is a second object this is a third object and this is a fourth object and this one is a fifth object so to remove these objects the little small objects instead of deleting the whole state we're going to just select the state. We're going to go to path and then break apart. And if you can see this in where it says break shows break apart, if I zoom in by holding down control and scrolling up on the mouse button, you'll see these extra outlines of squares. And that's each one of these pieces are pieces that can be removed. So you just simply click off of all your objects and then you're going to select everything that's in here. You're going to just click down and drag. And it selected everything that's in there. And you simply hit delete. And now you have that effect of the California. And if you guys like to have that different color effect on that, you can leave it this way. Um, and then just select both of these. And you can just hit Control G to group them or hit uh, objects and then go down to group but to make this one solid object you're going to select the two of them and then hit control plus and now they're all one solid object and you can actually 
manipulate the shape. And to know that it's all one solid path, you just click your edit path nodes and you can see as you click on it, everything has a node to it. If these were individual paths, you would have, the state would have its separate um, set of nodes and then this there would be no nodes over the California. So click off of that. So everything is combined and you can zoom in more or you can enlarge it since it's an SVG and you can change um, the color of it to whatever you want guys and whatever you feel you want to do with this but there you go guys this is bow with designs by bow this is how to combine text in out uh, in inkscape I'm sorry to um, make it look like an outline to make it a part of an outline guys please uh, subscribe to the channel I have uh, more videos that I've posted and I have more videos in the queue so I'll be teaching all the tips and tricks that I've learned I'm self-taught with Inkscape I've been using it for a couple years and I've learned a lot of tips and tricks by just playing around with the program so um, there's tons of things that I've actually done with this. I just haven't done videos on them. I've been using the program for different things like t-shirt designs and things like that. And um, I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I learned by playing with the program and figuring it all out as an alternative to um, paying the expensive cost of Photoshop. So guys, please uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.